Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is demonstrate how we can apply a pocket operation to our second project. Now, you can see I already have the second project loaded, and our datum's in the right location, our x0, y0, z0, so we don't have to worry about moving the part or moving the datum. To better demonstrate the pocket operation, I created some pockets, and I put them on a separate layer over here called pockets. So if I turn that on, you can see there's the pockets. There's three pockets. Each pocket has a couple holes inside of it. Now, to better visualize this, I also created a solid model. If you have Mill Professional or Mill Expert, it's real simple to create a solid. You do not need a solid to machine it, but I did create this just so you can better visualize what we're after here. All that looks good. So I'm going to turn the model off, and let's apply our pocket operation. We're going to head over to the main toolbar. We're going to come down underneath the CAM category and select Stock Toolpaths. Just left-hand mouse click on that. We'll come up to the very top here and left click on HS Pocketing. And the very first dialog box that comes up is your selection dialog box. Now this is just simply how do you want to select your pockets. You can pick the pockets manually. You can pick everything that's on the screen. Or you can actually select everything that's currently selected. I'm going to go with pick manually. We'll click OK to that. Now my cursor changes to the word bound. Now whenever that happens within one CNC, one CNC is looking for a closed shape or a closed boundary. I'm simply just going to left hand mouse click on each one of those pockets. When I'm finished, I'm going to right hand mouse click. That's pretty common within one CNC. After you're done selecting, you can hit the right hand mouse button to tell one CNC that you're done. All right, now the next dialog box is our Select Tool dialog box. This also is very common throughout 1CNC, and you've probably already seen this in our previous machining videos. So I'm going to kind of blast through this a little faster. But we've got a diameter of a half inch. Our tur position set to 1. We have our spindle speed set at 2400. We've got our XY feed rate set to 10, and our Z feed rate set to 6. That looks great, so we'll click Next. Here's our clearances. I have a half inch for our clearance plane, 50 thousandths for plunge clearance. Now remember, plunge clearance is where the tool is going to start to feed down. The top of the material is Z0, and the depth of each pocket is minus 0.75. We'll click Next. Now there's four different machining styles available uh, for you within one CNC for pocketing. You'll have all of these available within every single mill system except center optimized closed. This is only available within the mill expert system. Well, you've got high speed closed. Now, high speed closed, what that is, that's a closed pocket. And you can see a high speed toolpath in here. You have high speed open. This is where you're starting outside of a shape where you might have a part that has a boss. And you can see the tool starting outside the part and it's going to move in and start removing material. And then you have traditional, which is just your uh, traditional pocketing. It's, it's concentric pocketing. All right, let's look at high speed closed. We're not going to worry about machine from stock right now, but we are going to take a look at this multiple pocket order. There's two different techniques we can use here. There is by level, and then there's by pocket. Uh, if you select by level, one CNC is going to machine each pocket by the first cut increment, and then it's going to come back and machine each pocket by the second cut increment, and then machine each pocket by the third cut increment, and so on and so on. It's always transitioning between each pocket for each cut increment. I don't want that. I'm going to use by pocket. And what that means is that one CNC will machine each pocket all the way to depth, and then move on to the next pocket. All right, so we're going to go with by pocket. We'll click next. This is how we're going to approach the pocket. We have ramp or plunge. I'm going to go with ramp helix, and the ramp angle is set to five degrees. That looks good. Now we have our rough settings dialog box. This is the step over. This is the amount the tool is going to step over as it's making the pocket. Yeah, you can put in a percentage of the tool diameter if you'd like, or you can put a decimal if you'd like. If you want to put a decimal value in here, just uncheck the auto step over and type in whatever you'd like. So if I type in 250, the tool is going to take 250,000 step over as it makes uh, each pocket. All right, I'm going to put this back to a percentage of the tool diameter. We'll put that at 65%. The rough depths, that's your cut increment. So if you want to use a cut increment, just check that and then type in what you want. I'm using 250 thousandths for each depth of cut. I'm going to leave 20 thousandths on the pocket. The tolerance looks fine for this, and the wall taper, I don't have to worry about this because this pocket doesn't have a taper. If we did want to cut a taper on each one of these, we could simply put in a taper angle there. All right, now we have the finish settings. What's this all about? Well, what this does is it allows you to come in and remove whatever material you had left on each pocket. Let me demonstrate. I'll go back here. See how we're leaving 20 thousandths on here? If we want to, we can take the same tool and remove that 20 thousandths 
by using the finish settings. And so under finishing, you have a couple options. You can say, hey, uh, finish the bottom of each pocket, or you can say, hey, uh, make a finish pass at each cut increment, or you can actually set your own depth. I'm going to say none. I do not want to remove that extra 20,000. So we're going to have that set to none. We'll click finish, and one CNC is now generating the toolpath. So there you go. There's your first pocket operation. Very easy to do within one CNC. Uh, in the next video, we're going to continue machining this part. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you then.